Nuovi ingredienti e alchimie si agitano nelle lande di Amleto. È la New Nordic Cuisine, guidata da René Rezzepi e da un manipolo di illuminati colleghi che abbagliano il mondo con i migliori sapori della loro terra. Esperienze in California, Francia e Spagna allargano l'orizzonte gastronomico di Copenaghen e nel 2003 un magazzino che stipava sale diventa Noma. Complesso tempio del gusto, basato su principi di purezza e semplicità, ma con liste d'attesa chilometriche, da quando Re Zepi è proclamato vincitore dei San Pellegrino 50 Best. Dalle cucine del Noma, ecco un'emblematica entrée. Pani e pelli croccanti di pesce e di pollo e le tenui sfumature di un bosco danese nell'elegante piatto con anelli di verdura nordica. Next dish is a, is a, a dish where we try to use some of, uh, of the byproducts from, from other dishes. Uh, these here are, uh, I have pre-cooked them, these here are the fins of, uh, you call it fins or skirts, or turbot fins. These are the fins from, from, from a turbot that, uh, that we have salted for 24 hours. And uh, we do that Uh, we do that so that it firms up and you see it almost looks like small uh, grains of, of rice. You on, only, the only thing you have to do is that you have to remember to, uh, to salt them first so that the texture firms up. So they easily poach them when you take them off the skin. They just come up like these small rice grains. I cook this dish with a, a, a light seaweed uh, stock. These are uh, sea lettuce. Um, a quite typical normal seaweed from, yeah, well, anywhere in Europe really, uh, but also in Scandinavia. Uh, this is a, just made of, of a base of a, of a berry wine, which we blend uh, the seaweed out in. Very high in acidity, very, very strong of uh, sea flavor. Uh, besides that, uh, in my small pot here of seaweed, I put the, the skirts, like this. I also had a, a turbot cheek but that unfortunately, unfortunately didn't make the trip. Uh, here I have uh, a mixture of uh, portulac and stone crop. I put that in, into my, into my stock. I just gently, gently, gently warm my sauce, put the egg in the middle, and then finally I finish off with a some of uh, the beach plants that uh, you just tasted. This here is, uh, is the portulac that I just took the big leaves off and steaming through in the sauce. These here are uh, wild uh, beach peas uh, that grows everywhere as well. And uh, this here is a uh, beach cabbage, the, f the flowers of beach cabbage that is. First dish that I want to show, we have here, uh, these are pine shoots. If you go to the forest right now, you'll see the game, they eat it, it's the, like their candy season. One of the most uh, delicious things they find. Then uh, it's the dish also consists of uh, unripened uh, strawberries. Unripened strawberries has a high content of acidity, fantastic uh, texture. And it's just wonderful, wonderful to eat uh, right now in, in this season when just before they they become good. Then we have um, another uh, uh, quite uh, interesting uh, ingredient that uh, that's something that we that we use a lot now. My, my American friends, they tell me that it tastes exactly like a uh, hearts of palm. This is uh, the, the shoots of bulrush, uh, the very, very green uh, uh, early shoots of bulrush. If you take them uh, from the bottom, then you have this uh, centerpiece that's uh, delicious and, uh, and very crisp uh, and has a fantastic uh, sweet uh, flavor. This uh, dish here is a, is a fairly raw dish where uh, there's very little technique involved, um, just mostly working with the ingredients together on the plate. It's, it's very difficult to get real ripe strawberries or strawberries that at least taste of anything. Uh, many 
often they, they, they taste quite unripened. So we started to use them unripe in a salty version. There's very, very, very little sugar in it. It's very acidic and it's fantastic to use in, uh, in, in the kitchen. We use it for a number of things. We juice them and you have a, a, a wonderful uh, sauce for meat. Slice them raw like I do here for, for, for like a salad. Or we juice them and we freeze them uh, for uh, granite, which we use right now for squid. Uh, so it's extremely diverse because of its high uh, uh, acidity levels. Take the green strawberries. Line them out on the plate, along with the bulrush. Then I, uh, I put the pine. We have uh, five different types of pine in, uh, in uh, Denmark. This is the last one that's, that sprouts. The other one has already uh, sprouted. This is also the one that has the least acidity, which is perfect in this case, because there's so much acidity on the plate. But it has very high aromas. Uh, very forest-like. Here I add, uh, this is a fresh biodynamic uh, cream with a touch of milk in it to take the high contents of fat away. And in here I also have uh, tapioca, cooked tapioca pearls. In Denmark this is something that we today make of uh, potato starch, uh, although it was used to do create from uh, palm marrow. Uh, I add uh, dill oil to it to, to create a vinaigrette. And then I use this as my sauce for the plate.